Oh boy. <laughs> well, I've been making art since I was three years old. Um, I, I used to sit at my parents' kitchen table and make drawings, uh, many of which my mom still has. Uh, the, the retro pop art thing really came about when I was a teenager. Uh, I went through this big neo-hippie phase <laughs> where I totally fell in love with the 60s and uh, became kind of an Anglophile. And I, I just totally started studying everything from that period, like the, the fabrics and the design and the advertisements and the music. And it's, it's just kind of snowballed from there. I think my, my biggest influences are obviously the pop artists of you know, mid 20th century like Warhol and Lichtenstein and those guys but also um, vintage advertisements the whole Mad Men era uh, I have books upon books of old advertisements from that period I use a lot of text in my work and uh, I, th I think the advertising aspect is pretty evident humor is, is a huge part of what I do and um, using text in the work is a good way to get that across. A lot of what I do is one-liners. It, it's also a good way to talk about issues that are going on in the world that maybe have a more serious aspect to them. But if you use humor, you can kind of diffuse the, the seriousness of the topic. So incorporating the text in with the images, I think, is, is the easiest way to get the point across. Um, I also have an Etsy shop. Uh, it's called Shiny Black Vinyl, and it's all my music-themed work. And it's mainly prints of originals that I've sold, so they're cheap, they're super affordable. Um, I also have a website, amandawerig.com. I'm Amanda Werig, and I'm a studio artist at Twin Rivers Council for the Arts.